Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warplanes. We just finished the match. Actually, with the match that I just um, had started when we when we finished the last video. As you can see, I got a win. I got two kills. Um, five x five times XP equals awarded eight almost eight thousand plus um, seventy one thousand coinage. So woot. Um, yeah, um, had, sort of had a feeling that was going to happen, but for the first one today, at least in open beta, which we are in right now, we have 50 coins, and I am, should be closer to my ME410, ooh, I got enough, I'm buying it, I've been wanting this ME410 forever, yes, let's 410 in the house. Don't have enough credits to buy it yet, but at least I have it researched. <laughs> so now I have to get another um, 622,000 more credits to buy it, because it requires 900,000 credits. Anyway, yes, this this game I want to teach you a little bit more about the game. Um, achievements. This is one thing. These are medals for stuff that I've done. Um, wrecking crew. See what that does? Ace. Got that twice. Destroy at least five enemy aircraft in one battle. Um, destroyer, which I get a lot of. Well, not really. Um, five ground targets and five enemy aircraft in one battle. This one I get a lot. Ground pounder. Yeah, that's the one I do a lot. And then you see um, your achievements for numbers of battles that you've been in. Um, I'm sorry. No, this is number of victories. And this is your percentage of wins with said vehicle. Number of battles participated in. Uh, 706 wins, just over 50%. It is what it is. Actually, I had four draws, which is kind of interesting. Battle survived that I've made it all the way to the end, only 24%. Eh. Uh, I'm not really that great. I mean, shooting games are not my forte. Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to show you? Oh, yeah. Services. Service. This allows you to change out your, your uh, bullets. As you can see on here, I have high explosive and armor piercing. I can change them. I could go to solid core armor piercing, uh, incendiary, armor piercing, or standard. As you can see, the deep the damage output on the standard is 63. The damage output at the top is 60, is no at the top is 145. Is the is the top the top end for this? Armor piercing top end is um, 152.25. It's endearing. Top end is 146.31.31. Um, with a 20% chance of fire. Solid core is almost 160, which is interesting. But as you can see, I'm using high explosive, which gives me almost 141 top end damage, but gives me a 30% chance to start a fire. The bottom, you probably, um, I don't know. See, I don't, I mean, I, as you can see, I got the uh, the ones down here. The armor piercing incendiary, which have a 15% um, chance of start of fire. But they're also good against, armor piercing is good against um, heavy armored aircraft. So that's why I have it here. And then you can choose to buy consumables, which you can use. Um, I've the only thing I've chosen for this for this particular aircraft is the manual fire extinguisher, which I have on my. And then you have your modules to let you. Oh, and I actually do have. Um, see, this is what I've. This is what I sort of put my uh, my money into. Is these guys. Here I have the additional armor plating. See, I could put, I have this, this is what I have here, 
firing accuracy and then on one I have this here and I could put another one in I could put um, this in or I could if I had enough coins I could do that or that which is something you need to be thought, talking about and then I can change the look of the plane if I wanted to and I can also put a decoration on the nose if I wanted to pinup girl alright maybe I will maybe I'll keep that just one time store go in here and purchase aircraft if you want to willy nilly I have no real want to and you can also sell them if you wanted to um, so what to do what to do well since my my elite status points and I should tell you that real quick I'll go into my tick tree like this because I've unlocked the tier below it because I've un unlocked the tier 3 the uh, AR-80 this AR-68 um, is an elite plane which means it has it <coughs> excuse me accumulates <coughs> it accumulates I'm sorry it accumulates XP faster and also coinage faster I'll actually go because it it basically becomes a premium plane at that point which is this this is my tier 6 Russian fighter and it's an elite plane <coughs> and real quick we'll go into the tech tree and I'll show you that it is this guy and it says premium planes benefits no research cost means that you get this but you don't get any more it, it accrues more credits per battle it's elite status which has the possibility to grant it free XP faster um, transferring crew skills blah 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 accelerated training available for the first battle okay so maybe and as you can see he's already at 77 percent and I have have him on accelerated crew skills so I mean I don't really want to take that plane because I'm not really comfortable with this plane but this one I am very comfortable with this is a premium bomber. This is a, actually, if you bought, if you go to the website and you decide that you wanted to buy out and buy some gold for when the game goes live, which will be at the end of September, you can buy a bundle where they give you so much gold and they give you one of these premium planes. This is the one that you get for 20 bucks. And I'll show you here in the tech tree real quick. It is, where is it? Not that one, obviously. It is this guy right here. He comes with eight 50 pound bombs, which aren't really bad. Guns, rear gunner, engine. It's not the greatest plane in the world. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of firepower. Um, the way it does damage is by those eight bombs. It's not very fast, it's not very maneuverable. It does have 440 health points, though. Take it for what it's worth. So it does accrue XP faster and cash faster. So we're going to see if I can get into this game, which it should let me into while I'm hoping. There it is. That maybe I'll accrue XP faster. I'm just going to take you into this one. See if I can get a win. If not, I'll just go back and uh, explain some more stuff to you. But I'm hoping I can just so I can get a little, get a little cash, even though... I gotta get 600,000 600, 600,000 worth of cash out of this one battle but if I can get a win maybe I'll get I don't know 100 maybe 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 I'm gonna hold my breath but we'll see this is a, this is an, an attack aircraft what, what they say I haven't really experienced this firsthand, but they say that once attack aircraft get below a hundred or two hundred meters, which I'm now well below two hundred meters, they get a bonus to their camouflage, making them a little bit harder to see. So what I'm going to do, 
So I'm going to hope that there's not too much down here in the south. And I don't like the way my, my boys are sort of fighting this. As I watch them fight. I need to sort of get low. And I've got somebody that looks like they're about to turn on me. Yep, here we go. See, he pulled up. I didn't pull up. My engine is damaged. I can't boost. How the hell did he hit my... How, I'm sorry. How did he hit my... My... My flippin' thing? How did he fit... How did he fit my, uh... Engine? I don't understand that. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start taking out targets. Because they're taking out our targets. So I'm gonna take up this boat on the way to their, uh... And of course I got somebody to turn towards me. That they got that guy. They got that guy. They got that guy if I can. I hope I did. Three targets. See, I'm, all I'm doing is just doing this with my, with my um, bombs. I'm going towards their HQ. I'm not sure why I'm on fire. What, what exactly is hitting me? This is where their HQ is right here. It's going to be this thing right here in the middle. And I'm going to drop two on it. And these guns, these AA guns. There's the, yet uh, somebody took out the this guy pays attention. No, nope, he's flying three right towards me. Great. I've got to take out that other A gun, but that guy was flying straight towards me, which isn't helpful. Me and this guy are just going to start picking off stuff now. Bombs. Boom. Another A gun down. And as you can see, I'm at six kills. And the other and the other guy back here is at um he's got eight kills. Why are my people crashing? I don't understand. I'm trying to light up this AA gun so we can get another kill. I'm not going to have enough firepower to do it this pass. So I'll have to make another pass. I don't understand the way these some of these people play this game. i got to admit, it does not make any sense at all to me. It's like Because that other guy, he's in an attack aircraft. What does he think he's going to do? I mean, he can get outmaneuvered by anything else. And it's just... I don't I don't get it. Get it below fifty percent, pull up. Go go back and make a pass on this AA gun. See attack aircraft aren't made to take on fighters. And fighters aren't really made to take on a attack aircraft because of their strong HP and their the fact that they have a rear gunner, but I don't People just play weird. I can't, I can't, I don't know. A gun down. And as you can see, because we have, if you see at the top that right above, sort of where I am, our team 
enemy team, you can win by having air superiority, which means if you have um, more number of kills either of either of ground targets or aircraft or a combination they're in and your percentage reach, reaches a hundred you win the match by default sort of oh. see that was me being stupid totally didn't pull up in time totally stupid unacceptable thought I had enough room was in the dive too much on my own stupid fault no idea Anyway, guys, this these are the yaks, and the yaks are really this is the tier one yak. I mean, it's not really a yak, but it is. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I have on him real quick. Um, as you can see, he doesn't have the same bullets choices that the other team had, but I am thinking I want to put. I don't know. Armor piercing incendiary, and I have incendiary up here. I mean, no firefighter. But yeah, I mean, this game. This game is just. I mean, it is what it is. It's a really fun game. It's really fast paced. As long as you don't crash into enemy buildings by mistake, it's it can be really fun. When you start crashing into enemy buildings by mistake, you start getting mad at yourself. Anyway, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I might be back with some more gameplay later. But you get the gist. I mean, it's a really fun game. You just level up, get a better aircraft. Um, you build, you put, you put your stuff on the aircraft. I'm sitting for weight and maneuverability, and you go jump into a fight, and it's really fast paced and it's really fun. And as always, I thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, tell your friends about it. As always, I am the Eskatoon. Thank you for watching. Stay legit. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.